You know, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that the end boss for that wasn't a, uh, a Roid Rage and Jason Giambi. Yeah. Oh, oh wait boss a minute. battle. Oh, and I'm oh, down shit. a life already. Shit. Yet. Oh, I'm down a, a full set of continues. Uh, D, D, D. And, huh. and continue as... This is clearly... I'm going to give Axel a go. Uh, ah, shit. This <laughs> guy... not a good start. Yeah, this guy, uh, he's throwing us around like his, his prison bitches. This yeah. is not a good time. Just, this guy, uh, what's his name? Ad Ab Abidi? Abidi, I believe, yeah. Abidi? Wow, he is wow, really he killing is it. Killing it. Oh, shit. His name's kind of like Adabizi from Oz. And he looks like a guy that would have, like, bunked with Adabizi. He's the reason why Adabizi got so jacked. Never saw Oz. Oh. Shit. It is such a good mo uh, show, <laughs> movie. Shit, I'm already down the line. Oh, Christ, this guy, he he can, he can yeah. take off a quarter of my health, or maybe a third. Uh, uh, oh, shit, he interrupted my special. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, fuck, I wanted to do that to you. He's going for a run. Get ready to dodge. Or Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, One shit. One I'm toast. Ah. Uh, uh, damn it. By the way, I'm PJ Weston with Kevin Harrington. I think we forgot to mention that as we came in here. We were immediately thrown into a boss battle. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Ah! I got him. Oh. I got him. All right. I think that's the end of the stage. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Stage, stage four, four clear. All right. Ah. So uh, we were talking about this before. Kevin Harrington is on now. Uh, on Hadron Gospel Hour. That is correct. The Hadron uh, Gospel Hour, sci-fi comedy action serial. Yeah. You uh, were on um, podcast, I guess. Ah, knife guys, love them. Knife guy. Um. So yeah, how's how's that going? How's that? It's been going uh, real well. The uh, we're rounding up, uh, finishing off season two. We've got one more episode, which I believe is being or has been written. And uh, we should be recording that. It'll be our Christmas episode. And then uh, the guys are going to go right into the writing bunker, as they like to call it, and just kind of lock down and focus on season three. Where is the writing bunker? Uh, there, do you like the writing bunker is their house, one of their houses. Oh. We call we call Rich's uh, studio Hadron Bunker 1 and Mike's uh, attic Hadron Bunker 2, uh, which are the two places where we record the show. Hmm. And um, they've mapped out season three completely, and I think... Uh, they just need to. I don't know how many episodes have been written yet, but uh, but they've got they've had a lot of ideas for season three kind of fleshed out without spoiling anything. I am totally spamming this guy. By the way, it's great. yeah, this is perfect. It's about time we've been able to screw them over. <laughs> yeah. Every time we fall into this game, it's just like we fall on a, a box of knives and yeah. someone shoots us in the spine. Well, we were doing real good until the um, until the baseball brothers. Oh they yeah, then they just over. schooled us. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, what, as I was saying, uh, with the show, season uh, you know season one introduced us to the crew. Season two kind of uh, you know enhanced you know the, the storyline. Uh, you know we we brought everybody in in season one. Season two is kind of like following us as an ensemble, and we've encountered a couple of villains on the way. And in season three, oh, we're going to see uh, maybe some of these villains from season one and two come back. In, uh, in a bigger way. So there's going to be something big that happens to our dynamic um, that uh, with the crew. Nice. So uh, not, not I've listened to all of them out of order. Is Captain Funk gone? Is no, he... he's still there. He's oh, still okay. There. He yeah. was he was going on hiatus in the last one. I yeah. He I, I think some of that is because you know Rich pulls double duty doing Oppenheimer and Funk. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sometimes it's it's a lot, or you know maybe just wants to kind of vary it up so it's not. Just yeah. him on uh, well, That makes sense, yeah. Too much on him. Um, Funk is whoa, awesome. Whoa, Eagle has a huge whoa. second health bar. Uh, hang on. One second. Let's take a pause break. That's not good. Uh-oh. Teddy! Stop it! Now! No. Knock it off. Knock it off, dog. Sorry, that that uh, that interruption was because my dog was barking. I do not have a great uh, <laughs> great setup in, in terms of uh, I've got a nice little recording setup and uh, no soundproofing and a noisy dog and 
I like to I like to say that this show is kind of like comedians and cars getting coffee, but uh-huh. it's more you know Kid comedians in, in my room playing video games. <laughs> yeah, and getting drunk. So you I know. think that's a better. I mean, <laughs> I, I like. I, I love Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee. It's, yeah. It's a great show. I think Comedians Getting Beers and Getting Drunk. <laughs> yeah. If that's not already out there, it should be. It's, yeah. It's certainly more accurate to my experience. I, I guess I guess Getting Dug with High is a bit is a bit like that, but I think there's just something a little more a little more earthy and a little more... Shit, I'm going to uh, grab that turkey. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You, you it. Yeah, especially after fighting giant prince here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It totally is. <laughs> Uh, we've had Giant Freddie Mercury, Giant Prince, and I'm pretty sure they are uh, palette Although swapped. he's kind of got like an Ike Turner hairdo. <laughs> he looks okay, like old yeah, classic, like back in his heydays of being a domestic violence expert, uh, Ike Turner. All <laughs> uh, oh, right, yeah, and we're on a boat. boat. I'm not sure what like the plot could possibly be that led us from Are we the... escaping Disney World? Is that <laughs> what it is? Is this like, or, or is the final battle, we, we uh, what was the island, the... That like was vacant on a Disney World. That that's just like. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking. You know what about. I'm talking about. Is it Adventure Island? No. Um, but yeah, there's like an entire. There are a couple of them, just like abandoned. They're Disney abandoned, and like it's just it looks like something out of Jurassic Park because it's all like plants have taken over and animals are just kind of chill ah, there now. Shit, that's my ah. And I saw there was an awesome uh, photo series. These people snuck onto it, which sounds scary as all fuck because yeah. they clearly had to swim through waters that probably had no less than, I'm guessing because it's Florida, a thousand alligators in Yeah. Because well, think... that's all I see on uh, at any time. Florida is made out of nothing but uh, illegal Burmese pythons <laughs> that were like migrated there and like somebody got rid of them and they just... Oh, sorry. About started that. going bananas. Yeah. And gators. Yeah, I think actually in one of those Disney parks, they found in the water around it, like, uh, su- some kind of, like, super bacteria. And that's <laughs> probably why they closed it. Yeah, it was probably just, like, the runoff from all, oh, like, shit. redneck urine that's <laughs> just been, you know, fueled with big gulps, beef jerky, pork rinds, and voting Republican. And there goes any potential I have for a Florida. Uh, <laughs> audience. Sorry, Florida. Uh, no, no, it's not them. It's just the people that are coming to the parks that oh, gotcha, that yeah. don't use restrooms like civilized people. They're just like, well, fuck it. They got this giant toilet out there full of snakes. <laughs> snakes lock urine. Uh, is this end of... Okay, is I really it? need... We both really need help. We absolutely... And there is oh, nothing and, around. And, oh, oh grenade. grenades that are almost as good as, oh, shit, as health sticks. Grenade. Come on, Except, call uh, the complete opposite. Oh! Whoa, no, 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 get up, there's a grenade! Don't let me get hit by that grenade. Uh, 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 fuck. Are we out of continues? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm here, here, here I come. I'm gonna go. No, I, I don't care about my name. Continue. Hurry. I've got one continue. I'm going as... I'm gonna do Blaze again. Blaze yeah. is a strong character. She's the most balanced. She is shit. the Wendy to everybody else's Lost Boys. Yes. She, she's a shitty Wendy. She's, <laughs> she's like you. She's violent. She's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> you don't do anything. I'm going to go out there and earn some paper. I'm not your fucking mother. I'm not your mother. Oh, fuck yeah. Come on, pick it up. Oh. Whoa, did this guy... Just... Yeah, these guys have like weird... Te- like, not teleporting, but like some kind of super speed. I think they're invulnerable when they do that. I'm not sure. They are f- way faster than me. Probably way faster than you, even. Yagasika! Alright, he's down. That's Japanese for deadly python. <laughs> I <laughs> do not think that is true. It's probably not. Um, oh, these! Uh, yeah. Fox. Yeah. Um. I think I got this guy. Yeah. No, maybe not. If I could just bag him into a corner like I did, we can just get a health shit. box. Oh, yes. I'm down. Uh, yeah. Oh, bald bull. Oh shit. This is. Yeah. I remember this guy now. Yeah, I remember him. He was uh, who's he look like? Um, bald bull. Bald bull. From uh, Mike Tyson's punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, son of a dick. Uh, oh, he's totally. You get that help. I've got. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, right, get it. Never mind. I'll get it. Uh, no! Uh, fuck it. Oh shit! Uh, die. 
Uh, he just peed on me so mercilessly. Oh, wow, they have a lot of fucking health. Yeah, they do. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the? I've just eaten... Oh, shit, he interrupted my special and I still lost the health for you. Suck. Fat second. God damn it. Ah, uh. oh, I'm down again. Shit. Oh, man, I got a game over. I am... Wow. That was even shorter than last time. Holy hell. Oh, man. All right. Ah. Uh, how you doing? I got... You've got a screw kick. Wow, man, he's got so much health. Uh, I think... Yeah. Oh, oh man. I think this is a level we made it to last time. No, we made it to the beach. We oh. got it to the beach. Yeah, we oh. did beat him. All right, well, that's disappointing, but what that's are you going to do? That's it, folks. All Everybody right. died <laughs> because Nuke is the way. Oh, wait, we should find out what the plot is. Do you remember? Oh, you <laughs> gotta watch. You gotta watch the plot. Yeah. One, One year, year after the battle, which means nothing okay. to us. What battle? Yeah. The city, so it, yeah, it is just Neo Tokyo. There's been plagued with it's crime really Brecht. and violence, ha was safe and peaceful. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're just assholes. Okay, no. Uh, However, uh, evil has once again cast its shadow over the. We still don't know, know who, who is. But... Who is evil? Oh my god, it's TV's Frank from MST3K! <laughs> He was a sleeper cell of, of, of for CIA agents, and he decided to take advantage of a weakened city. Well, what's this? He thirsty for revenge. He kidnaps and attempt to as Axel and Blaze. What is his? He runs a syndicate. I don't know what that means. Is it drugs? I think it's oh. like cable. Hey, Max was a wrestler. All right, we All were right. right about that. All right. And Four um... young friends, rage burning inside them. Make a stand for friendship and peace <laughs> and vigilanteism. <laughs> you hear that, kids? If you have a bad day in the 80s or 90s, that's all the justification that you need to take to the streets. And more importantly, the only way to find friendship and peace is to give in to the unyielding <laughs> rage inside of you. you. From the streets. He kind of <laughs> looks like maybe he... This is like... I feel like this is propaganda to get people from turning towards, uh, you know, feeling the burn as it will. That looks like a racist caricature of a younger Bernie Sanders. <laughs> this guy wants everybody to have universal health care. He's evil. <laughs> so we're going to go in there and break up their w up with people meetings. That's what this is. This is secretly to indoctrinate everybody to vote Republican. <laughs> I mean, I think it definitely probably does have a war on drugs message buried in yeah. here somewhere. War on drugs, except the drugs that we own. <laughs> Second place, KKK. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so nice job on that. <laughs> nice job. The KKK has been immortalized in Streets of Rage, right up there with their <laughs> propaganda machine to beat down the working man that they planned all along. <sighs> oh. All Streets right. of Rage 2, a.k.a. Trump's Big Adventure. <laughs> Alright, well thank you so much for coming by. Thank this you so been... much, this was a blast. Yeah, let's I'm hope... just sad that we had to kill so many drug dealers to make this episode. <laughs> no, I'm not. Look out, look at those creepy gorilla hands. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks like um, the bad guy from Star Fox, Andros. Just oh, he totally two does. Two giant gorilla two hands. hands. and a head. Or it kind of looks like the, the spooky, because all of them are the, it's just some big guy and he's evil. <laughs> That's every game. This is how every game starts. The big bad evil guy didn't yeah. like something, so he took it over. And this you looks know what? like they're about to say, somebody took us up the bomb or <laughs> all over the base. What I love too is I bet he's amazing at fighting. Oh, you know, of course. <laughs> of course he's got giant hands the size of a city. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, thank you guys for stopping in and joining us. Uh, Kevin, thanks again for coming. And, thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one, guys. Good night. Good night.